Welcome to the 2022 Thanksgiving episode of Kin and Dane. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. So, <laughs> self-care, Thanksgiving, very hectic time, holidays, craziness, family, friends, expectations. Can be, but also can like be. good like family traditions, you know, like you can, I think you can make it as calm or crazy as you want. Yes. So let's talk calmness. What self-care, what can we do to help self-care? Well, so you can do a gratitude journal. I mean, you mm. can do a gratitude journal any time of year, obviously, but this time of year, it's kind of nice to remember what you're grateful for. So like at night before you go to bed, it's part of your relaxation routine. Like you can write down like three things you're grateful for, like literally just a list of three things each night. So what are your three things? Off the well, top of your change. head. Okay, if you had to write down right now on your gratitude journal, uh, your sister. Very, very, oh, well, obviously my sister. <laughs> very grateful for her. Um, <laughs> well, that should not be so hard. <laughs> I think I'm in a better mind space at the end of the day than the beginning of the day. Um, I'm grateful that I had a very safe drive to your house. <laughs> True. Kind of and I am very grateful that it's super sunny out today. It is nice. It there, is nice yeah, and sunny. That's my three there you go. <laughs> that was that was stressful. <laughs> that should not be stressful. And it if you can't come up with three things, don't feel like you have to. Like you can always just um, like write stream of consciousness journal as well whatever you want to do but uh, I like these journals um, they're from Amazon we'll link them below but uh, they're just they're, they are lined um, and you can you know so you can write whatever you want oh, nice. and so they're they're really nice um, and you can put it kind of like next to your bedside exactly. if you want to do it in the evening exactly. or the morning yeah you can also write um, things that you want to let go of yeah. so that if you're stressed you totally. can kind of like let go, write it down, be done with it. Yeah, yep. which is again great before you go to bed. It's true. So, and then another okay. part that's nice about Thanksgiving, I think, is like the tradition part, right? So, part of like what I think of as a Thanksgiving tradition is <laughs> cranberry sauce, which, mm. but it has to be this jellied kind that you know has the the can ridges on it. Like that's <laughs> that's a must. <laughs> no. Yes. I have another brand. I have an organic one that... Does it, does it have can ridges too? I mean, I don't know, but it is organic. Does it have high fructose? I'm pretty sure that one has high fructose. Oh, I'm sure, but it tastes delicious. And I get this one at Whole Foods. Definitely does, right? It's like the first ingredient. No, I don't know. I don't think it's the first ingredient. No, the first ingredient is cranberries. Oh, well. There ha! you go. <laughs> so this is another this is a healthier option <laughs> if you want to do cranberry yeah. sauce. But anyhow, yeah. I mean, I yeah. think it's the same concept. It comes yeah. out, you know, like as a tube of jelly. Blob. <laughs> and then you slice it up. I don't know. Yeah. It's just a, a fun memory that I have from, like, all the way back all of our Thanksgivings. There you go. Um, and then something new for Thanksgiving, um, since I don't eat meat, there's this Gardein plant-based turkey roast. Um, there's lots of different options available now at your local grocery stores um, for, for plant-based uh, meals. So for yourself or for people that may be coming over that aren't gonna eat a huge turkey. Um, these are easy, you put them in the oven. Um, they're consistently good. I, I don't nice. know what else to say, but it, it, this this one actually is like got some stuffing in it. It's pretty mm. tasty, actually. I I actually I like this. One. Eat it with the cranberry sauce. Uh huh. Exactly. So another thing to make your house smell kind of festive are pine cones. So I don't know if you can see these. These are pine cones. Um, my kids actually gathered these from our backyard, but you can buy them on Amazon. Links will be below to buy pine cones if you don't aren't near pine trees. Um, I just put them in a base of a pot. Um, and then you can put essential oils on them. So this is holiday season. And this smells, Which smells really good. Smells really good. Yeah. You wanna yeah. open that one like up? I put this one in my diffuser like this time of year. I like it a lot. And this is called Germ Fighter, but it smells like a cinnamon. It's so yummy. And plus you're helping your immune system, self care. Yes. So you're putting it on there. Yeah. Um, just drop some drops on the pine cones, you know, let it sit on the center of the table or on a any table anywhere, yeah. right? I actually put this one in my diffuser too and have actually added it to carrier oil and used it as a perfume this time of year as oh, well. Yeah, Cause it's, it's like really cinnamony, like smells like fall yeah. to me, but it's, it's a nice one. And again, it's available on Amazon and I just like the way it smells. It makes your whole house just smell good. Really good. And you don't diffuser. have to worry about something burning like a candle or something. Right, right, right. Well, yeah. Or you don't have to put like, yep. you know, cinnamon in a, 
you know, you don't have to put it on the stove or anything like that. This is like a safer <laughs> method. Well, like, you know, people burn or, or cinnamon like sticks. boil cinnamon sticks and mm -hmm. whatever, orange slices and all that stuff this time of year. This is like an easier, safer option. Yeah. Yeah. So that's about it for self-care. Thanksgiving. So. Yeah. Have a good Thanksgiving. Um, stay safe. Try to relax and enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy your family and friends. And please subscribe below. Um, Till next time. Thank yeah. you. Happy